Hello everyone, this is Mudassir Ali and welcome to the wrap up of problem number 7 which was held on the Enterprise DNA forum and this challenge was related to the calculation groups and the task was to create a dynamic report with, with multiple calculation groups. So I'll show you how I approach this problem and what technicalities and difficulties I had to face while handling multiple calculation groups in the report. So all in all, three calculation groups were required to solve this problem. First one was the time intelligence calculation group. The other one is various matrix. And the last one was to use measures as small multiples with the help of calculation groups. So first we will see how I created time intelligence calculations in my report. We go to external tools, tabular editor, tables. The first one is uh, current value. And for the current value, we have used selected measure. This means that if nothing is selected, then we want the current value to show off sales cost margin margin percent margin percentage in our report and these are the measures which was already created the second one is the previous month these are simple uh, dex formulas to uh, create calculation items previous year you can see month over month so i'm not going through these measures at the moment but the main thing was to apply dynamic uh, string format with the help of calculation items also. For example, if I click on previous month, so to apply dynamic formatting, what you can do, you can go to property, click on drop down and click on format string expression, or you can go, uh, you can come in this section, click here, and you can paste your code. So here you can see we, uh, I have used selected measure name, a new function. So what it does, it, it refers to the measure that has already, be, already been created in the report, which is margin percentage. So what I'm saying over here, if the measure is margin percentage, then apply this string format, otherwise apply the dollar string format for my report. So you can see when the current value is selected, margin percentage is showing, showing the percentage uh, format string. If I click on previous month, month over month, for the month over month, it is dynamically, uh, it is uh, dynamically showing uh, percentage string format. Why? Because if I go to month over month percentage, click on format string expression, so you can see I have only mentioned one string format for this calculation item. The same thing I have done for the year over year percentage. So this is how I created my time intelligence calculation group. So if you want to know various custom format syntax, which are supported in Power BI and you want to learn more, what you can do, you can go to model click on measure, select custom, or you can create, uh, click on learn more and you can see various formats in text is available for Power BI. After creating this calculation group, I created the other calculation group, which I named as other metrics. So the first one is daily average. What daily average is doing it, it is uh, taking the daily average in, in a particular month. For example, what was the average sales in Jan 2011? If I click on daily average, so the average sales were 6.3 million in Jan 2011, cost was 2.6 million. And if I click on max, so it shows what was the maximum value or maximum sales 
in the month of Jan on a particular day. The same thing is with minimum and with top five what what top five is doing it's uh, it is taking the top five sales in the month of Jan and adding it so if we click on top five so the top five sales were 33.9 million out of 197.5 million so if we go to tabular editor and check our other metrics so for the daily average what I have done I have again you selected measure name and I am saying if the measure is margin percentage I don't want to show any value so this trick is called exclu excluding specific measures with the help of uh, calculation groups so if I click on daily average you can see that I'm not showing any margin percentage in here because it doesn't make sense to divide the percentage by the number of days in a particular month the same thing I have done with the top five so no value is showing in the margin percentage column if I go to top five you can see I have used the same condition for the top five if the margin percentage is the measure I don't want any value to show in here for the max the simple measure for the min also so this is how the other metrics were created and the last one was the um, measures which are used as a small multiples this is this is pretty simple to create what you can do you can go to tabular editor and you can go to measure select this is what I have already created if I go to sales I just reference this measure in sales same thing with cost margin and margin percentage if you can see with sales I have um, not mentioned any format string because format string is all already uh, applied to these calculation groups but for the margin percentage I have mentioned that I want to use this uh, format string for the margin percentage but for the measure select I'm not showing any margin percentage in here so we are just men uh, mentioning sales cost and margin now what were the technicalities that I faced was uh, if I click on previous month so before click on clicking on previous month I'm going to select daily average so as you can see that the average in the month of Jan was 6.37 million so if I click on previous month so 6.37 million should show in February 2011 so if I click on previous month but it is showing me the incorrect result it's showing 6.35 million instead of 6.37 um, why we are having wrong results in, in our report it is because we haven't set the precedence right in the calculation groups when I created my calculation groups the first one I created was time intelligence calculation so you can see the precedence was already assigned as zero for time intelligence and then I calculated other metrics so the first one number is assigned to calculation group other metrics and the last one I created on measure select so the two was given to or assigned to this calculation group this is very important when we are when we have multiple calculation groups in our report so to analyze this what we have to do we have to go and see what these measures are doing but first what we have to see is um, when you are creating your report so which measure I created in my report so I created these measures right so I want these measures to show first so what I have to do I have to go to measure select so the measure select has already been assigned higher precedence so if you 
want the calculation group or calculation item to apply first you you have to give the correct precedence or the higher precedence in your report so what does it mean by that is uh, if we go to this section uh, first i want to restrict this to only january i think 2011 Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So you can see the we are having the incorrect result six point three in the month of Feb. So as we haven't set the correct precedence in our calculation group, so what? this measure is doing it is calculating daily average first and then it is uh, applying our previous month calculation but what we want is what we want to wrap daily average under previous month calculation for example if i do this we can see the correct result in here 6.37 million previous month 6.37 million so if you look at this measure so we can see that we have used our daily average and we have wrapped this around previous month time intelligence calculation but in this section precedence we are calculating daily average first rather than rather than applying our previous month time intelligence calculation first and wrapping it wrapping the daily average under this uh, under this time intelligence calculation so to solve this what we have to do we have to go to tabular editor again so i want to give the higher precedence to my measures first so measure select is two then i want to give the precedence to my time intelligence calculations so if i go to time intelligence i will assign number one and the last one i want to give the last precedence i want to give to other items and i will give zero to this when i save my chain changes we will see that we will have the right or correct results in our report if i click on previous month you can see we are having correct results 6.37 million now uh, while solving this problem, uh, I came across a pretty interesting scenario. For example, if I click on top five current, and if I click on top five, you can see that here it is 14065858, but here is 14068530, same as margin. Both results are different, but I have checked the results and the results in this uh, small multiple visual is correct so what's happening in here the problem is when we apply calculation groups calculation groups override the filter context and it overrides the all, it overrides all filter context in our report automatically but here we have used our measures not calculation items so we are having problem to get correct results with this top five measure so if you go to tabular editor and if i click on top five so i have used simple top five uh, measure which we use usually to get the top end results so to solve this problem i had to force context filter context in my report by creating this measure so here i have created a virtual table So in the virtual table, I have uh, grouped my date values with the selected measure. And then I have created another variable where I have just extracted top n, uh, top five values. And then I have used sum x to show, to sum the top five values in my report. I think this one is not required because 
I have already used this in here. And if I save my changes, click OK. We need another one. So result is selected measure. Sorry. Okay, now after, after changing our measure and forcing the filter context, we can see that we are having the correct results in here, 14068-19933. And if I click on previous one, 14068530, 14068530. So the results are correct now. So when you are creating calculation groups, you have to multiple calculation groups in your report. You have to be very careful when you're using it and you have to test your results uh, very carefully before you present it to the management or, or use it for your analysis or whatever. And the last thing was to use cal uh, measures as calculation uh, groups in here. So mostly what we do is we, if I copy this and paste this in here, what we do mostly is instead of measures to show in our small multiples, we use our dimensions or categories. For example, if I use a product, brand name. So in here we are analyzing sales by brand name. So we are using only one measure in our small multiples. But here you can see we have multiple measures that we can use with the help of calculation, calculation groups. And in the small multiple visual, uh, Microsoft has added a new feature, feature under grid layout, you can see the grid line, so you can add various grid lines to make it aesthetically pleasing if you want. Yes, and the last requirement was to sort this, uh, sort these measures with the help of calculation groups. So you can go to Tableau Editor, and if I go to Measure Select, So sales has been given zero ordinality because zero means it will show up first in my report. Cost is one, margin is two. So yeah, this was it. And I hope you enjoyed this challenge. And I'll be posting my detailed uh, solution on the forum with, with my PBIX file. And if you, if you haven't dived into these challenges already, you can you can surely go ahead and complete these challenges and you will get feedback from the from the experts and other members of the group. So that's it from my side and have a good day and goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.